Our second inductee is Anthony DeFrancisco. Anthony played four seasons of baseball from 2002 through 2005 and batted 356 in 138 career games with 167 hits and 103 runs batted in. He was a Northeast Athletic Conference first team selection as a senior after batting 383 and being the fourth toughest in the nation to strike out. Yes, I think his confidence and his charisma was infectious and it led to us, you know, playing better as a team. You wouldn't think he ever doubted anything. He doesn't, he doesn't show that. If he does, none of us know it or no one would know it. Um, and just from my experiences playing ball with him, um, he's just, he's, he is the most super talented person you, you would ever meet. He doesn't even need to try and it, it, it just comes. And everybody on the team, any team I've ever played with him, is they love him. He also had this, this confidence about him that, you know, we could be going against the best team or the worst team. And he had the belief that he always thought he was the best player. Whether he was or not, he believed that. And I think that made him a great player. You know, he believed that he was never going to make an error. He believed that he was going to go four for four. And that, I think, you know, would make any athlete better than, than they are, and that made him a really good baseball player. And I think that anyone that meets Anthony that actually has the opportunity to sit down and, and hang out or stand up and hang out with Anthony, um, they're falling in love with him. There's, there's, there really is no way not to, unless you can't handle a strong personality, which he is. I, you know, like I said, I, I met him on a field, and then we hung out one night, and it was like we were like best friends after that. He was the best man at my wedding. You know, he became, that's how good of friends we became. He ended up being the best man at my wedding. So you can't say much more about a person than that. If you, you know, it's that important in my life. So. One year we were playing, uh, we were down a few runs and uh, he was up the bat ahead of me. He was, I think, batting third and I was batting fourth. And there was runners at second and third. And uh, we, were down, we were down two runs and we needed those runs to tie up the game. And all year he'd been knocking in the RBIs ahead of me. And, you know, I went up to him and said, you know, get the job done. And uh, of course he went up first pitch and got, you know, hit a double into the gap, knocked in the two runs and uh, tied up the game. And that pretty much was, you know, the, the culmination of, of his whole college baseball career was, you know, every time we needed that hit, he got the job done. From the class of 2005, it is my honor to welcome Anthony DeFrancisco into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Uh, so about 12 hours ago, I had no idea what I was gonna say. And um, we're down on the field earlier and we're hanging out with all the incredible inductees that are going on with us. And Tony gives me a little nudge. And she's like, I gotta tell you something. And I was like, I was like what's that? She's like, uh, I was a freshman when you were a senior. And uh, the first thing I remember was they told me that if I wanted to find the best party to talk to D-Fran, so I thought, honestly, I was like, well, you know, I left my mark on this school a little bit in, in, you know, in one way. Um, so, so when Brett called me, uh, I, I was probably the most shocked person because I thought maybe they were, uh, they had some new type of category that was, <laughs> that, you know, that they were introducing into this. But, um, you know, this weekend has been absolutely incredible from the golf tournament to, to the football game to, to this banquet. It's, it's been a, a great time for my family and my best friends and, um, it's something that I'll never forget. Now, I am an incredibly lucky guy, to be, to be honest with you. Um, I've, had a, I've had an incredible life with baseball, and um, my first memory, and I'm not just calling him out because he's sitting there taking a video of me right now, but my very first memory of, of baseball 
was when I was three years old, and uh, my, my mom had to run to the store. So I had a brother who's 10 years older than me. Um, I was a pleasant surprise, as my parents say. Um, so he's out back, and we had a little... Uh, we, had a, we had a basketball court, a little slab of concrete in the backyard, and he was out there skateboarding. And, uh, you know, as a three-year-old who absolutely idolized his brother, I was bugging the ever-living crap out of him to try what he was doing. I said, I want to try that. I want to skateboard. So finally, he, he let me, and uh, two steps later, I had a broken leg. And uh, so my mom comes home. So next thing you know, my, my, my first memory, I'm in a wheelchair at three years old, and my mom's in the backyard pitching me wiffle balls. And I'm taking batting practice with my legs stuck out, just, you know, taking a swing. Um, <laughs> my, 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 second, my second memory probably is when I was, uh, I was in eighth grade. Um, the coach came up to me, took me aside, and said, we're going to have a van come up that they're going to pick you up about 45 minutes early from school, and you're going to go up and play with the high school team. Now, that is an incredible recognition. I was just so happy to get out of school 45 minutes early. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a great moment turned, un unfortunately, into a terrible moment because that, that, that first game, um, I was playing third base. Uh, I'll never forget, I was, I was, we were warming up. I was turning double plays with the, with the star quarterback that was a senior, and uh, I made one throw, and immediately I knew that something went wrong. And I ended up tearing my labrum and my, and my rotator cuff in the same throw. So yeah, so a great moment, unfortunately, you know, turned into a, turned into a, a, a bad moment, but it was, it was a moment that just, you know, it wasn't a setback, it was just something that, hey, you know, things happen, we have to, we have to work through this. So my incredible parents looked into um, ways that I could rehab, and they found this unbelievable um, AAU program and that I went to strictly just for rehab. And I met the coaches, I met the players, and the next thing you know, uh, a fire was lit under me that I already had because I had such a passion for the, for the game of baseball that 260 days a year, 175 games a year, I was playing. Uh, I, I, I got the chance to travel the country. Um, I went to Florida, San Diego, Mexico. I played in countless uh, major league fields, and 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 I saw I saw so many great things. And um, the culmination of that was I got to go to the University of Notre Dame. Um, there was a showcase out there. It was in front of all 32 major league teams, the top 100 colleges in the world, or I'm sorry, in the country. And I got to play baseball for for four days. And just the memories that I have from being a part of that team were, were incredible. So I did what anybody would when they were senior year. I grabbed my parents and I said, um, I'm not going to play baseball anymore. <laughs> so uh, as incredible as they were, they sat me down and they were, you know, they, they were okay with it. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what maybe made that decision, but I, I, I decided that as a senior that I didn't, I wasn't going to play baseball. And it completely turned my, um, obviously, recruiting experience around. I had no idea where I was going, what I was doing. It was, I think it was October of my senior year. So then we started uh, touring colleges that I, that I hadn't gone and seen. And um, I, I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and then I got an incredibly timely phone call from the then assistant coach, JT, who was, uh, was my head coach the entire time. Um, he did a little ego stroking, which uh, at the time was fantastic. Um, so I, honestly, when I decided I wasn't going to play baseball anymore, I, I was all about the academics. I, I wanted something, I wanted a school, I wanted something that I could go to and, and, and have a one-on-one -on -one, you know, relationship with, with professors and, and, and faculty and everything. Because my brother, my brother went to Penn State, main campus. So, you know, I'm, I'm eight years old, I go up there and I see a, I, I see a town, you know, literally a town, and I was like, oh, I, can't, I couldn't handle this if I was him, you know? Um, so I, I wanted something that really at the time was, as a student athlete, they put the student first. And 
when JT called me, it brought everything back. And I was like, not that I had forgotten about Stevenson or Village League, because I definitely had not, but it was like, wow, this is, at this point, once I decided I, I wasn't going to play anymore, this was the school that I, I really wanted to go to. I fell in love with, with the Stevenson campus, with just how picturesque it is as you drive up to it. And I, and I was like, oh my God, this is it. And I'll never forget, I'm sitting in my shower, and uh, I'm, I'm, Mom! And of course, my amazing mother comes sprinting in because she thinks something's terribly wrong. And uh, I was like, I know where I'm going. Get the phone. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm going to go to Villa Julie. And they were, they, uh, they were just so happy. And, and they knew that, they, honestly, they, they knew that it was the right one. So they were like, are you going you know, to play baseball? I said, damn right I'm playing baseball. <laughs> so um, it, it was just, it, you know, it was, it was such a, I'll never forget that moment, that, that, that epitome of, of realization that, you know, this was the school that I decided that I was going to go to and I was going to dedicate myself to, and a program that I was going to dedicate myself to for the next four years. And, um, you know, uh, as an amazing as a moment of this is, and this is probably the greatest honor that, that, that I've had, um, none of this is, is possible without my mother and father. The, the time, the effort, the travel, <laughs> they, went, they went every single place that I went, whether it was freezing cold upstate New York to beautiful San Diego, California. Every game, every moment, um, they were there for us. So I feel like as, as great of an honor as this is, I feel like I'm really not getting inducted. I feel like my mother and my father are the two that are actually getting inducted. So if you could give them a second and give them a round of applause, because um, this absolutely has nothing to do with me. Um, I was just, I, I, was a, I was gifted an incredible talent from God that, uh, that I worked my butt off for. And um, they just gave me the opportunity to do whatever I wanted to do with it. And, you know, it led me, you know, to this moment right now. And, you know, looking back, you know, that moment when I was in eighth grade and I, I made that throw and I, uh, I hurt my shoulder. If I could go back to that exact moment, right before I made that throw, and, and I could say, hey, um, could you change it? Could you stop it? Because it sucked, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I knew deep down in my heart at that time before, I would have made it somewhere. I honestly, I honestly believe that. But I wouldn't change it, because the moments that it led me to, and the places that I got to see and travel with my parents, and um, just the experiences that I had. I had my two best friends that I would never have met had any of this have ever happened. Um, I would have came to I mean, this beautiful school. I had the best four years of my life here. And uh, oh my God, am I really choking up right now? Whew. Um, you know, it, everything led to this. So I wouldn't change a thing for the world. So um, I want to take a quick second before we you know, wrap this up that uh, I want to thank Brad Adams because um, I know I didn't make it easy for him <laughs> when I was in school. You know, we're not going to get into details, but I definitely did not make his job easy. Miss Fran, I, I'm not, I don't know where you're at, but she was the most, uh, oh my God, I still love her to this day. I, when she sent me the first email, I said, oh my God, I have to see Miss Fran. I was the happiest person in the world. Um, but Brad Adams, um, JT, who, uh, who honestly, you know, uh, Ray was my first coach my, my, my freshman year, but JT was the one that um, stuck his net on the line and, and vouched for me in so many different areas um, that, that um, you know, if it, honestly, if it wasn't for him, I, you know, obviously, I, would, I, I, I wouldn't have been here because he was the one that truly recruited me. And um, it, it's the faculty, the staff, because, you know, I, I practice on tennis courts and in the gym, and to see where you know this, this incredible university has come, it's um, it, it's amazing, and, and it's it's because of you guys and all the hard work that you guys have put uh, have given in, and it, it's a dedication that you saw through, and it's not the end yet because there's so much more to go. But as somebody who you know unfortunately lives too far away to come back here very often, to see the transformation that this school is, has has grown to is 
is incredible. And I wanted to thank you guys because um, I can't imagine what you guys have, have gone through to, to make this school and make this campus and this incredible university what it is today. So we can give the athletic department a, a round of applause. Thank you. So uh, thanks to Tony, I, I figured I had it. Now I have an ending. So hold on, I need, I need a glass of wine real quick. So I, I, I couldn't let my, rep my reputation down to being a part of your go. So I wanted to give a, uh, a salute to all the inductees tonight, all the former inductees, all the incredible people that worked their butt off to put this incredible event on every single year and for this campus. So everybody, if you have a, if you have a drink in your hand, please raise it and uh, join me to the class of 2018. Salute.